this is Guns, Knives, and Watches, and uh, I was kind of working through a process last night of putting it, putting together a fire kit, and this would be basically a universal, um, universally adaptable kit, and extremely non-perishable. I'll get into the non-perishable part here in a minute, <clears throat> but. This kit basically has three different types of ignition. It has, of course, a standard Bic lighter. It has a ferro rod. And then it has a magnifying glass that is 7 power, 40 millimeters across, and it's been AR coated to get better light transmission through it. And it's made out of glass, okay? So it's very scratch resistant. <coughs> now, the Bic lighter, everybody knows, understands them, this, there, or the other. They can be used to make fire even if you are out of fuel um, because there's a flint and a striker and you can go watch somebody's video on it. I'm sure somebody's got something about uh, creating sparks with this thing. Or I've got friends who have the mini lighters and there's no fuel in them and they keep them in their cook kit and for an, just their stove. And they're using, I guess, a an LP or those can little canister stoves. Uh, the sparks from this will light their stove, even if it has no fuel. Of course, everybody knows ferro rod, <coughs> and this is a pretty good size ferro rod, I guess. Um, just to give you an example of what this is. This is about the thinnest I really like. Let's put this in American units. It's about three-eighths of an inch. So we got three-eighths of an inch um, by two and a half inches, yeah, something like that. This is probably a... Uh, a... Uh, one of those Swedish fire steels uh, that the handle's been taken off and it's been wrapped in uh, duct tape. <coughs> you may not, that not, may not be important to you, but I'll get to why the duct tape's actually there here in a minute. And it's not because the handle fa falls off of them, because these light my fire Swedish fire steels typically don't come apart on me. Um, but we'll get to that here in a minute. And of course, as I said, this is a glass lens, <coughs> which can be used to start a fire if it's high enough magnification. Of course, you can use a Fresnel lens. You can, you've seen in my uh, survival kits, I'll put a small Fresnel lens, but it has to be high enough magnification and large enough in diameter to, to the ability to collect enough light and then concentrate it at a point. And of course, this one's glass, AR coated, this there, the other. So you get very good light transmission through it, even though it's only a 40 millimeter uh, blank. Now, those are three ways of making fire. Those three ways are in all of my kits. Now, the magnifying glass, this one, isn't in my kit but I've got a magnifying glass on my compass that can also start a fire and it's high enough magnification. Now it won't start a fire on any type of material but it will on this burnt wick. And you just have to, you know, just, it's regular lamp wick. That end's been burned, it's been charred. It's very easy to get that charred in to relight. <coughs> and that's kind of <coughs> important. Now, the ferro rod will get any, about anything to light, and of course you got your lighter. We've got a knife in the kit, and this is just, I'd like to have a farmer in it, but this is, I think, the, the uh, whatever the hell it is. It's the one that doesn't have the saw on it. <laughs> and I could tell you probably any time other than now. Of course, it acts, has a very good striker on it for the ferro rod. It has, of course, a knife that can be used for a lot of different things. I mean, everybody understands that. 
got your can opener, your bottle opener, or screwdriver, prior, whatever you want to do with it. But now, if it was a carbon steel knife and not a stainless steel knife, you could use, you know, draw sparks off the back of the knife, da 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 da, you know the drill. Onto that, and, you know, use a hard piece of that there, that there rock, man, and that piece of flint, man, gonna get her done. It's not my shit. Uh, it's a stainless steel Swiss Army knife because it acts as a very good striker for this. It's a very good knife. It's very rock solid and uh, it's very robust. So we've got this to start a fire with this. Got our fire steel lighter. Now, the tape on the ferro rod is Gorilla Tape and is very flammable. Back in the day, used to have inner tube, top, you know, used to cut inner tubes and make ranger bands, da 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 da, and you can make them whatever size depending on the size of the tube you get. And they come in all different sizes from very, very small up to two and a half inches or something like that. So you can get a, you can make a ranger band to fit your specific application and then the width. And you learn pretty quick on how to do that. You only, you only make that mistake a couple times. But you could also use the the ranger band, just like this Gorilla Tape, and use it as tender in a wet situation. Uh, in wet situations, burning rubber will start about anything. And uh, I've lit I've lit off a ranger band or two uh, in anger. <laughs> so uh, it's just the way it works. Of course, we've got a piece of fat wood here, and everybody understands, and you can use the knife to scrape off the flat fat wood and uh, basically create tinder. And then we have the uh, basically wax impre impregnated cotton. Uh, these are mini infernos, but you could use anything. You could use the, the contents of a... or, or a, You could use about anything. You could use wax, cotton, uh, Vaseline on cotton balls. You could use uh, wax with lint out of your dryer. You know, don't be, this was something easy for me to grab, and don't be, think you're limited to this type of stuff. Now, could I have put something like this piece of steel in there, which is carbon steel and used for striking fires and all this type of stuff, this, there, or the other, and I guess could be used as brass knuckles in a, in a pinch. Of course, it probably hurt. Um, yeah, but this is just what I needed. These things, of course, are perishable. This is very non-perishable, uh, but you have to have sunlight to do it, and you need this lamp wick to do it consistently because the sunlight is constantly very... It, it's a variable quantity. Um... Uh, now, could you have put other tenders like this S bit in there? Or, let me see if I can grab them real quick. These fast fires, or any of that type stuff. And you could do that. The only problem with that is once you puncture that, you know. You start losing it starts losing effectiveness will it last a long time will it do a lot of stuff yeah these fast fires once you open them they say they'll last about a month they're made for a billion dollar military or about a 60 billion dollar year military uh, force that have almost unlimited capabilities and unlimited financing they want it they get it Understand that these are perishable. You punch a hole in these, they no longer work. Which is why these are in uh, this lock sack. To protect them. Now, they're very light, and you can put them out very quick, but you just have to understand the perishability of it. None of the stuff here is really that perishable. Outside of the, the uh, fluid out of the lighter. But... 
as I was saying, this was just an exercise that I put together last night while I was waiting for my daughter to come home from work and might be something that helps you. But get very creative with it. Um, you don't have to be, you know, is this kit important for you in your life? Is it important for me in my life? No, it really isn't because I have things that the only thing in this kit that is not in my backpack or not reproducible in my backpack is basically the fat wood and the wick. And I can easily put those into the kit. And actually I may. I may put a little bit of lamp wick into one of my survival in my into my survival kit. Because that's where my Fresnel lens is. And that's probably a damn good idea. Because it's usable in a lot of different applications. Could I put a lighter in there? Yeah, I could do that too. But for right now, I'm just going to branch out and fill some of the voids and some of the gaps in my own kit. Why is that? Because kids are getting bigger. We're going out and doing more extreme things. Um, as society gets more kind of high tech, um, and if I'm locked in a building, uh, which I have been here recently, regularly, I want to get out and do things. And I want to go places where not e when there, where there aren't people. So that's where a kit like this comes into it. Am I going to say that I'm going to do that very often? No. Uh, but you just never know. I may get back into the going out into the wilderness and this, that, or the other. <laughs> sure. But anyway, getting too old for that crap. Do it on a consistent level. But this is Guns, Knives, and Watches. And this was just me working through the, through the kit. And I hope you got something out of it. Peace out.